Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we solved a question on drawing a cumulative frequency table and curve for a given data. In this video, we are going to solve another question. The question for this video is, the following is a record of marks obtained by a group of 50 students in a chemistry test that was scored over 100. So we have the raw data from the test here. The test was taken by 50 students, so it means that the total number of students in the class is 50. The first part of the question says, draw a frequency distribution table for the data using the intervals 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, etc. Then the second part is that draw a cumulative frequency curve for the distribution. The third part is from your curve, I determine the pass mark if for fifth of the students passed. I, I find the probability that a student selected at random had distinction if the minimum mark for distinction is 75%. So from the data given to us, we can see that we have the raw data. So in this case, a cumulative frequency distribution table will have a column for tally. I've already explained how to do the tally for a raw data like this in the previous videos. So I will not go through the process again in this video. I'm sure that by this time you can do the tally. Let's move on to the table. We have been given the intervals 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, etc. So I have the table here. We have the class intervals 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, and it continues up to 90 to 99. And these are the tallies and these are the frequencies. As I said, I've already explained how to do the tally for a raw data like this in the previous videos. So I'm sure that by this time you can do them. These are the frequencies we obtained. To draw the cumulative frequency curve, we will need the max less than and the cumulative frequencies. We know that the max less than are the upper class boundaries of the class intervals. The upper class boundaries are 9.5, 19.5, 29.5, 39.5, and it continues up to 99.5, just as we learned from the previous video. Let's work on the cumulative frequencies. The cumulative frequency for a particular interval will be the sum of the frequencies up to that interval. The first frequency is 4, so the first cumulative frequency will be 4. The next one will be 4 plus 4, which is 8. The next one will be 4 plus 4 plus 6. So we have 8 plus 6, which is 14. The next one will be 4 plus 4 plus 6, which is 14, plus 6, which is 20. So the next one will be 8 plus 20, which is 28. The next one is 28 plus 5, which is 33. The next one is 33 plus 6, which is 39. The next one is 39 plus 4, which is 43. The next one is 43 plus 4, which is 47. And the last one is 47 plus 3, which is 50. So we are now done with the second part of the question, which is drawing the cumulative frequency table. Let's move on to the cumulative frequency curve. We have the graph sheet here. As usual, we have the max less than on the horizontal axis and the cumulative frequencies on the vertical axis. As I said in the previous video, you choose a scale such that the graph or your curve will cover a large portion of the graph sheet. Let's plot the points. The first one is 9.54. We have that here. The next one is 19.58, that will be here. The next one is 29.514, we have that here. The next one is 39.520, 
we have that here the next one is 49.528 that is here the next one is 59.533 that's here the next one is 69.539 that will be here the next one is 79.543 that's here the next one is 89.547 that's here and the last one is 99.550 that's here the question said we should draw a cumulative frequency curve so it means that we will join the points with our free hand to get the cumulative frequency curve the title I'm using is a cumulative frequency curve showing the marks obtained by 50 students in a chemistry test we are done with the third part of the question that is drawing the cumulative frequency curve for the distribution let's look at the last part the first question of the last part is that we should determine the pass mark if for fifth of the class passed for fifth of the class passed for fifth is four out of five so four out of five of the class passed we know that the total number of students in the class is 50 so if four out of five of them passed then it means that the total number of students who passed will be four out of five times 50 which will give us 40 so it means 40 students passed in the class we have 50 students so if 40 of them passed then it means that 10 students scored below the pass mark so those 10 students they failed so we need to find the pass mark if 10 students failed to get that we will locate 10 on the horizontal axis that's the cumulative frequency axis so we have 10 here then we trace it to the curve and from the point where it meets the curve we will trace it to the horizontal axis that is the max less than axis and then we read the value there from my graph when i read the value there i'm having 21.5 percent so 10 on the cumulative frequency axis corresponds to 21.5 percent on the max less than axis this means that those who scored max less than 21.5 percent failed if those who scored max less than 21.5 percent failed then it means that 21.5 percent is the pass mark so if for fifth of the students passed then it means that the pass mark was 21.5 percent let's look at the second part the second part says that we should find the probability that a student selected at random had distinction if the minimum mark for distinction is 75 percent to get this probability we have to find the number of students who had distinction then we will divide it by the total number of students in the class which is 50. so let's begin by finding the number of students who had distinction remember the question says that the minimum mark for distinction or the least mark for distinction is 75 percent so we will locate 75 percent on the max less than axis that's the horizontal axis you locate 75 percent then you trace it to the curve and from the point where it meets the curve you trace it to the cumulative frequency axis and read the value there when i do that i'm having 42 so 42 students 75 percent is the minimum mark for distinction and we know that those who scored less than 75 percent did not have distinction so what it means is that 42 students did not have distinction so in the class 42 students did not have distinction the total number of students in the class is 50 so if 42 students did not have distinction then it means that those who had distinction will be 50 minus 42 which is 8. so in the class eight students had distinction and the total number of students in the class is 50. so the probability that a student had distinction 
will be equal to the number of students who had distinction, which is 8, divided by the total number of students in the class, which is 50. 8 divided by 50 is 4 divided by 25. So if the minimum mark for distinction is 75%, then the probability that a student had distinction is 4 divided by 25. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Up to this point, we have learned how to present statistical data on a pie chart, a bar chart, histogram, and cumulative frequency curve. In the next video and the subsequent ones, we are going to learn how to find the measures of central tendencies for a given data. Bye-bye.